Hey, it's Kendrick with Technology Interpreters, and I'm going to show you the coolest capture the flag challenge I've ever encountered. Like right now, I'm doing the GuidePoint security CTF. I strongly encourage you to follow GuidePoint on Twitter or look them up and follow and join in the challenges. But yo, I'm in 28th place, not by myself because of only because of the amazing Twitch community. So there are a lot of people on Twitch. And if you're not in my live streams on Twitch, you are missing out. We learn together, but also I've been able to connect with so many other amazing creative Twitch streamers who are part of the information security community. And believe it or not, it's small and most people know each other over there. So don't forget to follow me on Twitch, link in the description. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this challenge. So it was, as you can see right now, I'm literally three away. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people on Twitch, we kind of crowdsource this and we work together. But this one particular exercise was interesting and I was just really excited because what you wanna do is you download the zip file. And then once you download the zip file, I'm gonna go to my folder here to clear this up, give you a little sneak peek. So there's the folder right there, Blocky. I'm gonna see it to Blocky, okay? Type LS and so it had all these files in there. And so, Yo, for real? That was that was Alexa. Alexa, cancel. <laughs> so <laughs> scary. So anyway, so you got all these files in here. And what you want to do is I just went ahead and looked at the first one. So I'm going to cat. And the very first file is name is AC. So ACN. So A ACN. See if I can tab it out. Okay. So cat, not CA. And so once I cat this file, I noticed, okay, it's a bunch of binary. I was like, okay, that's weird. I was like, but that kind of looks like almost like it could be text art. And so what I did is I, I took it and I catted all the files together. So I don't have to do it, but I'll show you the command. I did cat asterisk, and then I outputted that to uh, all files. And so I'll, so I'll go ahead and type it just so you know. So cat asterisk uh, output to all files .txt. Okay, that's what I did. I've already run a command. And so if I do an LS, you should see all files right there, all files.txt. So let's go ahead and let's open it up. And I'm going to show you a cool trick. So go ahead and cat. And I'm doing this just to read this file. So first thing I did is I've catted asterisk to put everything together. Now I'm going to cat this to read it. Okay. And actually, let's not do that. Let's, let's stop there. Okay. Let's go to mouse pad. All files.txt. All right, and when this opens up, this is gonna blow your mind if you left the video. So at first I was like, okay, I don't still don't know what this is. So I went to edit and with the preferences and with the font and it's like set to use monospace font. And I unchecked that and I've already adjusted this so I can see it. But anyway, the font size was 10, I changed it to one. And I don't know if you can see this, but that's a QR code. That is, you see the squares right there, you see squares right there. And so it formed a QR code. And so I was like, holy crap. But as you can see, it's kind of like, it's not formatted correctly. It's rectangular instead of a square. So then I was able to take this over to my text editor and I'm gonna bring this over because I want you to be able to take a look at it. So I brought this into my text editor. I resized it and stuff like that and I adjusted it. And so somebody in the Twitch stream was actually able to scan it. Okay, so they were able to scan the QR code and once they scanned it, it gave me a string. All right, so I'm gonna to go to CyberChef and I'm gonna show you this right quick. So I can, I can bring up the formatted QR code, but I want you to see the whole thing. All right, so CyberChef and the string that we had was, I mean, honestly, it was easy. I thought I was finished. Like it, it literally gave me a false sense of hope because as soon as I clicked on it, CyberChef immediately recognized it and I was like, okay, I'm done with this exercise. But no, no, I wasn't. This is just the beginning. It's still not over. They made it even harder than that. All right, so I put this in the CyberChef. Okay, hope you all can see that. And let's go ahead and change to the zone view so we can bring this up and I'll adjust the screen here. So once this was in CyberChef, you can see right there, you get the little magnifying glass or magician's wand right there, okay, which is kind of an indicator that CyberChef knows that what it is. So it says, okay, we can convert this from hex, uh, to produce a different result. So you go ahead and it says from hex and you get this, all right? And so the unfortunate part is myself along with 40 other 50 feet people, uh, thanks to the community on Twitch, nobody was able to figure this out. <laughs> so unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to solve the challenge. Even though we went through all the other aspects of it, I was not able to challenge, like solve it. So 
unfortunately, like it was one of those things like I would love to be able to show you the flag. And I think it's one level. And hopefully I'm going to be able to get Alex from Guy Point Security on the channel to help like to talk about this and, and figure out what the answer was. So I have a few questions that we were not able to solve. So I hope Alex will actually reveal the answers and show us how to get them. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show this to you. If you want to watch the QR code, give me just a second. I'm opening that right now. So you'll be able to see the QR code right now. So for those who left the video, sorry, you messed up. But that is the format of QR code. And believe it or not, you can scan that and have access to it. It's pretty cool. So anyway, this is Kendrick once again with Technology Interpreters. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this encourages you to get into Capture the Flags. Like, I don't get them all. I don't solve them all, but I don't quit. And so that's one of the most important things is not to quit, okay? You just want to keep going, keep doing the Capture the Flags and stuff like that. And as you do them, you get better. I'm so much further down the road with my Linux skills, with my hacking skills and stuff because I just haven't quit. So don't forget to drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hope this was encouraging to you. Hope you love these type of cool things and that you will begin your road to become a hacker, a red teamer, a blue teamer, but somewhere in the information security field. Thanks for watching.